Question number 22 of the ID Passport Exam from Philnitz. In this question, we are being asked which of the following is an appropriate expression to be entered in cell 3. Okay. The way to answer this question is to first be able to look at the description here and also the table. Because if we just read the description, it will be extremely difficult to know what exactly is happening. And th that's why actually a while ago I was reading it because uh, I wanted to see the, the text at a much larger font size. The problem was it was uh, quite difficult for me to understand what was happening. So I needed to make the font size a little bit smaller so I could see also the table. And then from there, was able to answer the the question okay so let's see what are the inputs in the description it says here that uh, we have this uh, rule saying that if the amount of sales is below the average sales amount of branches A to C for the month we write the symbol X. Otherwise, we write the symbol O. And then, it's saying too that whatever equation that we put, whatever expression that we put in cell 3, which is this one, we also enter it in the uh, following cells, D3, E3 and then of course this row here and then this row here okay so we need to know what would be the equation I think we need to go down a little bit more to see what the choices are we need to know the average of the sales amount for each of the three branches and that is uh, this part However, there is a slight difference because some of the letters would have a dollar sign and even here we have a dollar sign. So if we don't know what that means, it's going to be a problem for us to, to identify uh, what exactly would be the correct answer for this question. However, if you've also used Excel um, LibreOffice calculator spreadsheets like that um, to help you with the computations it's likely that you've also uh, encountered this dollar sign there of course if you have um, used only the spreadsheet without uh, writing whatever equation whatever formula to to quickly know the computations for a report then you might need to um, use the, the software tool some more so that uh, you'll know what we are talking about. So again, you may have access to the spreadsheets. Some of them can be downloaded free of charge. And you may have used them for a little bit. But to really understand how things work, you need to be able to put in time to, to use it. For example, at school, at work particularly, and spreadsheets, I think, is a fundamental tool, especially when we need to know um, certain things about the counts. Um, if you go to any of the offices, any of the clinics even, um, some of them that... Uh, haven't been using computers as much yet because maybe um, it was uh, established, the, the business was established um, during the time when computers weren't really that prevalent and it was uh, okay to simply use a pen and paper uh, booklet uh, even though they also at the time already used tablet tablet uh, or what I mean by that would be tablature the table form uh, where they put in the the names of the patients and then um, 
in this list we know how many there are and so in that way uh, we have a simple um, spreadsheet system using pen and paper but eventually um, as more and more patients came in uh, it would become a lot more difficult to know how much uh, would be the total income um, for example um, for each of the patients some of them would be senior citizens some of them would be regular patients and then we add more data like the medicine items that they buy uh, if you include that how much in total uh, so as more and more things are added it becomes a lot more difficult if we're only using a simple pen and paper booklet okay okay so um, as we uh, use the spreadsheet tools we get to encounter this symbol the dollar sign and this one uh, signifies that if the dollar sign is on the left of the letter that would mean that the the letter uh, in this case letter C wouldn't change in this case letter E also wouldn't change however the number here 2 would change if we copy the equation to another cell so for example if we copy the uh, the equation from um, let me see from here this row the third row to the fifth row then we need to get the numbers changed so instead of 2 because 2 is this one here we change it to 4 okay why do I know 4 because if we look at the row this is the 4 and this is the 2 right so if we put the dollar sign on the left of the C and the left of the E then this one this part here and this part here won't change but the row the number 2 would change to the number 4 so in that way we can get quickly the average per month because we need to know per month um, if the sales amount the average of the sales amount for each of the branches combined is more than or less than the um, the evaluated value for the branch okay so in that sense um, which answer would it be in this case because we need to put an X mark if the average the combined average like this and the value of the um, the branch the value there is less than the average so we get an X mark if the value for the branch is less than the average of the three branches otherwise we put an O mark so in that sense the correct answer is letter D Let's see what else I wrote for my notes. Okay, so again, we have formula, we have a function, we have an expression, and we can use the dollar sign to signify that the letter doesn't change, but the uh, the number beside it could change based on the um, location of the cell where the equation um, is put if we put the dollar sign just ahead of the number 2 to its left then that would mean that the number 2 wouldn't change 
but the letter would change. Okay. So um, what we want in this case is for the letter to be able to change. I mean the letter for not to be able to change, <coughs> but the number which signifies the row could. Okay. And you can try this out in any of the spreadsheets that you have access to. Microsoft, Excel, or LibreOffice Calculator to see how it can help you too with your computations. Okay?